Hello, hello, and welcome everyone to Women's Speakers Association's WSA TV. Today's a very special episode. I'm Laura Rubenstein, your host and producer of the Women's Speakers Association's uh, WSA TV show, and, and this is the premier women's show. And today we have an extraordinary group of experts who've been with Women's Speakers Association quite a while. They've been speakers for even longer, and we are showcasing their expertise on how to get your message out there. So if you've been wondering what it takes to really get your message out there in the world, today's the show to watch. So let's go ahead and say hello to all of our experts. Hi, Orna. Oh, hi, Laura. Thank you so much for having me today. I'm Orna Walters. I'm a motivational speaker and soulmate coach alongside my husband. And I'm joining you today from Santa Monica, California. My website is loveonpurpose.com. Welcome, Orna, and hi, Michaela. Hi, Laura. It's Michaela Quilici here, and uh, I'm a business growth coach and a marketing consultant. I'm calling in today from Holland in the Netherlands, and you can find me online at michaelaquilici.com. Excellent. Thanks for coming all the way from across the pond. And Alicia, hi. Howdy, everyone. I'm Alicia White, deep in the heart of Dallas, Texas. I am a speaker and visual branding coach, and you can find me online at backoftheroomproductions.com. Excellent. Wonderful to have you here. And hi, Terry. Hey, Laura. The Terry Wilderman here. I am an intuitive leadership and resilience coach, speaker, and author. And I am in Newport, Rhode Island, selling capital of the world. And you can find me <laughs> at intuitiveleadership.com. Excellent. So what a fabulous panel we have today. And I'm super excited that all of you are here because I know you have a lot of wisdom to share with regard to getting your message out and helping women in particular to do that. This week is our um, extravaganza, our premier women, premier new uh, premier member extravaganza, which means it's you've got two days left to get a premier membership at the old activation fee of $99 and then either $20 a month or $197 a year. And I just wanted to bring to everyone's attention that we have some extraordinary uh, you know, women here who are helping each other. And so today we're going to model that. We're going to actually do what we do behind the scenes for everybody. So there's a big question out there. It's like, how can I get my message out as a woman speaker? And I thought each of you could address that. And um, I'm going to go to Michaela first. Michaela, why don't you share some advice that you have for women to get their message out there in the world and grow their self, themselves as a speaker? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Laura. So uh, when I work with CEOs and business owners, I work with them in the startup ramp up and scale up stages of their business. And it's really about helping them get noticed, get clients and get profitable. So this is really key because as a speaker, you're really in marketing and sales. So it's really important that if you want to get your message out there as a speaker, then you have to master your marketing in order to get noticed and, and get out there. And so there's a couple of key principles um, that I would like to impart uh, when you're doing that. The first is you have to attract those meeting planners and those event planners, and then you need to convert them and get them to hire you or to invite you to uh, speak on their stages. And so the first attraction is that function of marketing and conversion is that function of sales. So three steps to, for that attraction formula is number one, you have to create that consistent exposure for yourself in those places that those meeting planners and event coordinators are hanging out so that when they are likely to go looking for a speaker, you are there and showing up. And the second part of the formula is to speak in their language. So what, uh, you know, what does that meeting planner want? What is that result that they want for their audience? That's the language that you want to use and, and package yourself up with. And the third um, part of that formula is to give them what they want, give them what they want, not what you think they need. And so those are my three steps in that attraction formula to get yourself noticed and uh, to get those gigs. Brilliant information as well spoken. And so, you know, one of the things I want to highlight what you just said is you're a marketer if you're a speaker and um, growing those skills of learning what to say, but you're a speaker. So you're growing with that. So thanks for the inspiration and the, the expertise advice. And I wanted to go over to Alicia now to get your expert. I know you work with speakers every day. So 
what advice do you have for women to get their message out there? Because we women have such important messages. Oh, yes. And, you know, to tag on to what Michaela was saying, Laura, is that really the first step in telling and growing your business through speaking is to let everyone know that you are a speaker. Add the title speaker to everything that you have, your social media accounts, your website, your business cards. And then the next tip that I give people when they're looking for those speaking opportunities, say yes to the gigs where about 70% of your ideal client will be attending. Why? Because when you're going on stage and you're making an offer or asking them to meet you at the back of the room, that's the people you wanna attract, right? So why not go to those gigs where your people are? Yes, you can speak at other events just to practice your message, but to really grow your business through speaking, make sure you use that strategy by going to gigs where your audience is. And when you speak at an event, make sure you're offering something. Again, it goes back to marketing. You're going to market some kind of free offer, right? You give a free offer, let people know that you'll uh, get with them at the back of the room. And when they get there, exchange that free offer for their contact information. Now you've just collected some warm leads. These aren't cold leads. These are people who are genuinely interested in what you want to do and what you do. Ask for their contact information in exchange. And then finally, have a super duper coaching package, right? Okay, actually I should say, you don't have to have a super duper coaching package. It's great if you have a five or six or $10,000 coaching package, but not everybody has that, especially when starting out. But you do have this, you have time and expertise and you can sell that, you can offer that. So don't go into speaking thinking, I don't have anything to offer. You do. You have a service of time and expertise. Just get out there and start sharing your message because people need to hear that. And, you know, you give, bring up such an important point, Alicia, and maybe many of you can relate to this, is that some people go into the speaking world thinking, I'm just going to make my, love, my, my money um, on speaking fees. But if you're missing, you're leaving money on the table if you don't have other offers like the coaching. Absolutely. And yeah. if it's not coaching, it's some kind of service or service or yeah, some other way to monetize that speaking because the speaking fees, you'll get less opportunities to get speaking fees than you will have other ways to upsell people. So brilliant point. Thank you for bringing that up. Orna, tell us about your advice for women speakers and how to get their message out because you're passionate about what you do. So much. And you know, as a soulmate coach, relationship expert, and um, most of what I do is um, teach communication. And so what I really want to share with everybody is it's really about building relationships. I mean, relationship is the foundation of everything we do. So it doesn't matter what industry you're in. You want to build relationships with people that can hire you to be a speaker. And one of the best ways to do that is to join networking groups. One of the things that I did when I started off as a coach was joined a lot of networking groups. Many of them were specific to women, which was great. I love it when women support other women. I think that that's really important. And when you build relationship and you join these networking groups, you can get in front of the room and share your messaging. And you can also build relationships one-on-one. -on -one. You can go and set up a lunch or a tea or a coffee and get to know somebody even better. Another great way is to build those relationships is to attend a lot of events. If you're starting out, it can feel like you're sort of isolated and you don't know where to go. So if you're out and you meet a lot of people, every person you meet knows people you haven't met yet. And so when you're looking to build relationships and be interested and curious about other people, and then you can see how building that relationship really leads to getting um, the opportunity to share your messaging. And so I really believe that the foundation of everything you do in your business has to do with the relationships that you create. And so that really is the foundation. Go out and meet people. Be excited about the messaging that you have to share. Ask them what they're looking for and how you can help them. I know one of the things that I love to do is I just love to connect other people. Like I see, oh, this person over here could really benefit by meeting this person over here. And so I'm always looking at who in my network that can support one another. And so I'm constantly connecting people and getting them to connect. And what happens with that is it's like that saying, um, if, you know, you can have everything you want if you help enough people get what they want. And so if you're out there building relationships, really getting to know people, being curious about what they need and want, 
they're going to also be interested in what it is that you need and want. And that really is a cooperative way to build your business and to really create solid relationships. I know that one of the biggest things, the biggest takeaway I ever got was building relationships through networking groups and getting the opportunity to speak when somebody was hosting an event. And it's the way I started my speaking business. And I still think that really works today too. It doesn't even matter how many decades ago that that was. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant advice. Get curious about other people. Give first. Go out and network. Get out there. I love it. It's so you're so inspiring, all of you, and um, the ability to build those relationships on purpose, like all of you have said, is important. And so, Terry, I want to hear from you also now about what advice do you have for women speakers to get their message out and really across, and then um, show up as a speaker more often. Thank you, Laura. To back up what everyone else has said, I'm going to go into the emotional and spiritual side of it with intuition. Intuition is, has, is really getting known right now as being the intelligence that we tend to not listen to. And when, as a speaker, it's so important to listen to your intuition because it will help you with your stress resilience. When we keep listening to what everybody else tells us what not to do, but our heart keeps saying to do it, there's a reason. You're being called to that, whether it's the title of your program, whether it's the makeup of your program, whether it's who you are to speak with and to as an influencer, and for yourself, doing work that you love to do and speaking to the people that you love to do, that you love to speak to. I find that with speakers, the speakers that I've coached, they, get, they, they come so distressed. Their stress levels are super high because they're implementing everything that their coaches and these other folks have told them to do, but nothing's working. And what I find is that from a resilience perspective, there's trapped emotions. And trapped emotions are in the way of them being able to be the brilliant speaker that they're meant to be. It can be fear of being on stage, fear of not being good enough, fear of not getting the message out properly, fear of what they look like on stage, fear of not being able to succeed and get uh, back of room sales that they want. You know, all of these fears get into, in the way of them really shining when they're on stage. And what I do is using emotion code, using body code, we help to release all those fears. But most importantly, I teach them how to shift into their heart. The heart is actually a brain that can be measured three to six feet away from the body in the 360 degree circumference. So when you're on stage, you take a deep breath, you breathe deeply into your heart. And what you're doing is you're engaging the brain in the head with the brain in the heart. So you're working with two brains when you're on stage. And when you're doing that, the logical, practical, tactical, emotional, spiritual, intuitive, it all congregates and everything comes to fruition for you. And that's how you begin the success process to get you to where you want to go and where you want to take your audience. Step number one, shift into the heart. Step number two, breathe deeply. Step number three, think of something that makes you feel really, really good. And step number four, believe it, trust it, and know that you are an absolute brilliant human being doing what you're meant to be doing. I love that. And it's almost like this is where we start. Because once you get into your heart, once you've got the the trapped emotions dealt with or removed, then you're in a place where you can do exactly what Michaela and Orna and Alicia said and gave us wonderful advice for. So um, what a great way to come full circle here with all this advice. I want to learn a little bit more about each of you and your expertise. So, you know, to give people a sense of what you do in the world in just, you know, a sentence or two, who do you work with and what do you do for them? And Orna, let's start with you. Oh, um, sure. Um, our ideal client is a spiritual, successful, single woman who has everything except the man of her dreams. And we really heal hearts and rewire the brain for love. We learn how to receive love in our family of origin. It's like we learned how to walk, talk, everything we learned to do, we learned in our family of origin. We also learned how to do love in our family of origin. And so if what you learned in your family is in alignment with what you desire, there's a mismatch. It's like having a misprogrammed GPS for love, right? You're putting in the wrong address. 
And so what we do is rewire the brain for love so that you can actually create soul-satisfying, long-lasting love. And that's why we call ourselves soulmate coaches. It's not about, uh, you know, having a date or, uh, you know, getting a boyfriend. So this is about creating long-lasting love where you really can stand the test of time with a partner. I really believe that women particularly have been burning themselves out trying to do everything and be everything in their lives. And the only way to have it all is to do it in partnership. And you can have anything you want when you have a partner by your side that you know that you can count on as sure as you know that the sun will rise tomorrow. Beautiful. And you've built your business with speaking to some degree, I would imagine, yes? Oh, yes. We've been, um, you know, really um, blessed, honestly. Um, you know, one of, when I was thinking about what tips I wanted to give, I was, you know, I've been blessed that in my business I've been able to book a lot of media because media leads to a lot of speaking. But I knew if I went there first, people would say, well, how do you book the media? And that's like a whole nother sort of thing. And I really appreciate hearing about intuition because honestly, most of the media that we got, at least in the beginning, all was followed by intuition. And saying yes, even when it was terrifying to say yes to something that was scary. And so I really want to encourage everybody to, you know, when you're thinking about what your messaging is, don't worry about having it perfect. You can actually go out and share something that you're excited about or something that you helped somebody achieve. And that alone will bring your message across to land on somebody else. So your communication doesn't have to be somehow perfect. It just has to land and resonate with the people who are listening to you. And so in building your speaking business, go out and talk to people. Because what's speaking except for taking an intimate conversation and making it more broad to land on more people out in that audience? So you really can do it. I know that I've been blessed. I definitely did a lot of speaking and honestly, you know, did a lot of learning how to build a business because learning to do something like be a coach, That's being great. good as a coach is one thing. Having a business as a coach is a completely different skill set. And there's so much support here. And that's one of the things I love about Women Speakers Association, that there's so much support. You don't have to do it all alone. Excellent. Yes, absolutely. You don't have to do it alone. And since you're talking about coming from the heart and Terry, you brought up intuition, I'd love for you to jump in and share a little bit about, you told us a little bit what you do, who you do it for, and how do you weave in speaking to get your business out there? Well, I've been speaking since I was 18 years old, and I've been in business since I was 18 years old. I'm not going to tell you how old I am, okay, but it's been a long time. And the resilience piece is important to me because I have burned out multiple times as a business owner. And that burnout is what has led me to work with workaholics, business owners and leaders who are totally stressed out, totally discombobulated with where they're going. They want to implement all of these systems. They know what they need to do. But when things aren't working right, the frustration, the anger, the fear, you name it, starts to get to them. And they get you know, the aches and the pains and things just fall apart. And when they burn out, they lose their business and it affects their families, which is what happened to me. I curled up on the couch and I had my little girl just looking at me. My business just crashed and burned. So to be able to work with folks to help them understand what are the elements involved to prevent it is really, really key. And the one thing with WSA that is so brilliant is that there is camaraderie. There is support. There is help. And they will guide you in a speaking career because a speaking career can be challenging, especially if you're not really sure where to go. You're not really sure what to do. You're not really sure how to do it. WSA has the answers for you. So intuitively, if you're here watching this show, there's a reason for it. So listen to that because uh, there are brilliant women that are a part of this organization that will guide you so that you can do things with calm, ease, and flow and in a much easier manner than trying to do it on your, uh, by yourself. Thank you for sharing what you do. Thank you for sharing why you love Women Speakers Association. I want to remind everybody you can join us on the inside at joinwsa.com. And I want to hear now from Alicia. Tell us about a little bit more about what you do for speakers and helping them get out their message. And who do you work with in particular? I love work when a speaker or a coach or entrepreneur tells me that they're ready to speak and they just don't know where to start. 
because I've been in those shoes. I remember when I first started back at the room productions, I was just the woman who provided the visual branding for the speaker sheet, the retractable banners, the back of the room materials, the marketing materials. I'm not a speaker, I said. Who would want, who could I teach? What message could I give? And then I discovered on my very first speaking engagement where there were 21 people, I was so nervous. And I remember saying there's three C's to branding. The first C is, and everybody readied their pen and their paper. And I said what the first C was and they wrote it down. I went, oh my gosh. I gave the second C and the third C and they kept writing down, taking notes. I went, I guess I do have a message. I didn't know I had that kind of value. So that's the kind of person that I love working with. It's the person who begins thinking, I have a message, I wanna share it, but I don't know if people think it's valuable. And then let's build on that. Let's find out what that message is and put it in those pieces that will set you apart from the other experts because you are an expert. In some way, in some fashion, you are an expert in, in what you provide. You do have value. And so I love working with women entrepreneurs, women speakers and coaches who are just ready to get out there and share their message and creating their, their, their speaker tools, such as speaker sheets and their brochures, retractable banners, which is a huge thing to have at the back of the room because you want some presence. You want to show people, I'm giving another tip. I do that a lot. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you want to show people that you're serious. So let's put out a, you know, a, a, a message about you and show your true essence. And I just love working with people like that. And I love all the tips you give throughout as you weave, because this is your specialty working with speakers. So thank you so much. And Michaela, tell us a little bit more about who you work with, what you do for them and how you help speakers. Thank you. So I'm really passionate about supporting um, women in particular to be seen and to be heard and really to help them navigate their business growth with more purpose. This all came out of my own personal story, like many of us here today. And I'm just so, so um, happy to, to hear all of your personal stories and how you got into um, what you do, because it's so it's so important to bring in that piece of who we are, why we do what we do. That's the fuel and the passion for starting the business and for sharing the message and um, and really getting out there. And so I love supporting women. I come from my own story around hiding in plain sight for many, many years. I had to learn, you know, the hard way about, you know, sales and marketing and um, and speaking and and all that sort of thing. And so um, really just supporting women uh, in that startup growth scale stage of their business where um, they need a compass and a roadmap. And that's what I do. I support them to really strategically to help them grow, to take their business to the next level. And so speaking is always woven into that marketing plan. So when we work on the marketing plan and the sales funnel and the systems and the self-leadership and stepping into that message and embodying um, you know, that brand of who you are and being able to make that impact. Um, you know, we, we always, uh, you know, take a look at, um, you know, how, how to really make that more easeful and um, to really support women to, to really look at their business holistically. Speaking is that one piece that, that always comes in. It comes up in many different ways. So um, for myself and for my clients, speaking can mean having your own radio show or being a guest on a radio show. It can mean, um, you know, starting your own podcast or being a guest on others. It can mean... Um, you know, many, many different things. It can be on stage, it can be uh, lunch and learns, you know, it can be in a one-on-one -on -one conversation. And I love what Orna was talking about, with, about communication and relationships, because that's what it's really about. So speaking shows up in many different forms. Um, and, and so I love just supporting women to, to build a holistic business uh, around who they are and, and, and really helping them show up and make an impact and grow with a bit more ease and grace. Beautiful. And I want to like kind of put this all together because here's what I've gotten from all of you and how you work with it. So Michaela, you just said you help women get clear and create this compass and, um, and blueprint. And then Terry, but you help women 
uh, clear themselves so they can create that blueprint. And Alicia, once they have that blueprint, you put it together in a branding and Orna, you'll help them get a mate to share this wonderful experience of who they are with. <laughs> so, you know, you can't go wrong here uh, with all of our experts here. And um, I know Terry, you shared a little bit about why to why Women Speakers Association is so key in this process. So I thought I'd start, uh, since Michaela, we just heard from you, what is it that, or, you know, like you were saying, you help women get out there. At what point should they join Women Speakers Association and what is the value? Oh, there's a tremendous value in joining uh, Women Speakers Association for a number of different reasons. So for me personally, and for the women that I've recommended and referred uh, to the organization. Number one, it's about exposure and visibility. So we all need it. We first have to give ourselves permission to be seen before we can actually be seen by others. And so we need to step into that arena. And being with these beautiful women and this wonderful community gives that exposure. Um, and it's a great mirror for, you know, uh, being in a community of, of women you can learn from and um, being connected with others, building relationship with others. Um, you know, you can find clients, you can find mentors, coaches, you can find um, uh, strategic alliances, you can find friends. The list goes on, um, but it's all about showing up, number one, being visible, making those connections and the training and the exposure opportunities to be featured, um, you know, in various forms. I don't know any other organization actually that provides this much, this much exposure and visibility to its members. Um, it's, it's really quite remarkable. So like any organization and like any opportunity, you got to show up first. Um, but if you show up and if you really go all in with, with Women Speakers Association, I just find there's treasures and gifts um, along the way that you didn't even know that you needed or you didn't even know that you wanted. And uh, I continue to uncover those gifts uh, each, each day, each week that I'm, that I'm a part of the organization. So I can't say enough about it, um, but uh, I'll stop there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your generosity and all you contribute to the community. So that's another benefit you get is by getting the generosity of it. And speaking of the relationships you develop, Orna, why don't you tell us about the value that Women Speakers Association has been for you and can be for other speakers? Mm, oh, you know, honestly, I really love this organization. I love it because I love the women in it. They make my heart sing. Like I said earlier, women supporting other women just rocks my boat. I just think it's one of the best things ever. And the best thing about this organization is they mean it. They really are genuine in wanting to support you, helping you get your message out in the world. And I know that there are a lot of groups out there that say they want to help you do something, but they really want you to be doing something behind the scenes. And what I want to say is there's no behind the scenes here. What you're really seeing are this organization wants to help you become a speaker at whatever level you're comfortable with. You're already a speaker and you want to grow your business. I know I was already an established speaker before I joined WSA. It's great if you're just starting out. You've heard from a lot of these women about how they can help you get started. But I want to share something. If you're already a speaker, they can help you even more. You can grow. You can really start to pilot your business in the direction that you want to take it. So whatever stream you want to add in, they can support you. And one of the best things I love about it is you're not isolated. You know, being an entrepreneur oftentimes can feel so isolating. We're the leader of the team. We are, you know, trying to do stuff and we can't do everything. And so we hire a team and yes, we want to hire people to support us. But joining WSA means you have like some wings to help you really take flight. It's not like having a team member on your team so much as it's having the support to take you higher, better, faster, stronger. That's what this group is all about. So you can decide the way in which you want to get that support. They have so many different ways to support you. And that's what I'm saying. It doesn't matter if you're just starting out or if you've been an established speaker, they can help you grow. They can help you really take your speaking to a better audience and to really just help you in whatever way that you need the help. So come on board, 
you won't regret it. Yay. Thank you. I feel like giving each of you a standing ovation when you share <laughs> why, you know, because it really is a community effort. And Alicia, I wanted to hear from you about the experience you have had with uh, Women Speakers Association, what you love about it and why women should join. Laura, I, this is from my personal experience, and that is WSA has been an integral part of my growth in becoming an industry expert. It was you ladies, Gail Watson, Tracy, and uh, others who saw me, saw my value, and put me in front of everyone and said, hey, this woman knows some stuff. And I'm not saying, you know, that I know everything, but my point is, is that you guys propelled me to be an industry expert by inviting me to go on WSA TV interviews, the speaker success training, public, uh, publishing some of my blog articles. And one of the things that is different about WSA and other groups is that you get you can know the people who actually founded or are the president uh, you know Gail Watson you know I you get to know these people on a name to name basis you can meet these people they're not hidden away like some other organizations you they're uh, um, um, attainable is the word I'm looking for they're attainable and they're friendly and they want to help not just the, the community, the leaders really do believe in providing you with value. And that's why being a member of WSA is so important. You get an e-speakers profile. Uh, you, you can share questions and, and tips on a community platform 24 hours a day. There's monthly trainings. It's all there to help you succeed. And they truly do, I'm, I'm telling you, these leaders, of WSA truly do believe in getting giving you success. Uh, join, join today. Why less than twenty dollars a month? Yeah, <laughs> it's like a no-brainer. I hear you exactly. And Terry, is there any final word? I know you already kind of told everyone to join. Is there any one last nugget you want to share? You know, you're not going to find an organization whose investment is so reasonable as WSA for what you get. That's the bottom line. You get amazing value for your investment. And what I'd like to share with the audience is every single woman who's watching, every single one can be sitting here where we are very quickly if they listen to the information that is shared. I know when um, I was told, or uh, not told, I was asked to be on today's show, I was like, yes, you know that. I was jumping up and down like a, like a goofball. <laughs> I was having so much fun going, yeah, and that's what WSA is about. It's like, oh, little old me is going to be on this show. And, it, you know, they value you. And that's what, Alicia, what you were talking about. You are valued here. It's not about your list. It's not about your social media reach. It's not about none of that stuff. It's about you, your depth, your width, your experience, who you are as an individual. That is what they help to cultivate at a very, very deep deep and wide level. It's worth it, folks. Sign up today. Beautiful. And thank you so much, everyone, for your wisdom, for your heart. Yes, you're absolutely right, Terry. Anyone could be elevated in an instant that by the just the mere joining of uh, uh, <laughs> where are we? Women Speakers Association, of course. <laughs> You don't have to be perfect. You just get to be loved here and welcomed in in a very collaborative organization. And by the way, one of the bonus gifts of this extravaganza, which ends tomorrow, July 31st, is to be sitting right here on a WSA TV show. So I'd love to welcome you onto the show. Just go to joinwsa.com and we'll see you on the inside. Thank you, ladies. You are magnificent. I love collaborating with you. And I'm so glad you're a part of uh, Women Speakers Association. We'll be back again shortly, again, with another episode of Women Speakers Association's WSA TV premiere show. Bye for now. Bye.